Hi, this is John Miller, the Chief Product Officer here at Hive Lighting. Today, I'm going to do a walkthrough of our brand new Hive Shot App 2.0 for both Android and Apple. Once you open the app, the first step is to scan for the available light fixtures. There's a large scan button. You're going to press this. After a few seconds, you'll start to see the different available lighting fixtures populate in the list in our lights menu. Select the fixture you want to work on to enter our control menus. Once you've entered our control menus, you'll see four menu options at the top. The first option is Shot, the second is RGB, the third is Profiles, and the fourth is Wheel. Each of these menus are going to allow you to control the saturation, hue, output, and color temperature of the light, along with unique features. Our first control menu is our Shot menu. Shot stands for Saturation, Hue, Output, and Temperature, as in color temperature. These controls are represented by a series of sliders, and then there's a fifth additional slider, which allows for plus minus green control. The first slider is saturation. Saturation is represented as a zero to 100% slider, with 100% saturation being full color, and 0% saturation being white light. Our second slider is hue, which is represented as 360 degrees on a color wheel. The third slider controls the output of the light, from 0 to 100% output. Our fourth slider controls the color temperature of the light, which is represented in degrees Kelvin, from 1650 Kelvin at the warmest, all the way up to 8000 Kelvin at the coolest. The fifth slider controls our plus minus green control, which adds either green or magenta as a correction to the light. Sliding right adds green, sliding left adds magenta. For more precise control, tap the arrows above the slider, or use the touchpad to type in the exact number desired. The second control menu available in the app is our RGB menu. The RGB menu is similar to SHOT in that it allows you full control over the light's color and output. However, it represents this with a red, green, and blue channel instead of the hue and saturation. The first slider you'll see is output. Again, this is controlled from 0 to 100%. The second slider controls the color temperature from 1650 at the warmest up to 8000 Kelvin at the coolest. The bottom three sliders represent red, green, and blue as 0 to 255 point values. Used individually or in combination, these three sliders can create any desired color on a high of light. The third menu is our Profiles menu. The Profiles menu is unique because it is designed to only adjust white light on Hive's LEDs. In the Profiles menu, there are five different profiles that can be selected, and then two sliders, one to adjust output from 0 to 100%, and the second to adjust color temperature from 1650 to 8000 Kelvin. Each of these five profiles represents a different white light curve, which has tuned the white light emission of the fixture to either different sensors, like our cinema, broadcast, and photo profile, or scientifically identified white light curves like daylight or black body. Visit our website to find out more about the color science behind each of these profiles. The fourth and final menu is our wheel menu. In this menu, use the color wheel to pick your hue and the slider to set your saturation. When you reach your desired color, hit the large select button in the center to change the light. At the bottom of our app, you'll find our main menu, where you can access our color controls, our sources menu, our effects menu, and our save menu. Additionally, if you're using the light to set the DMX address, you will find your DMX address menu there. Access the sources via the main menu at the bottom of the app. The sources menu is a library of preset colors programmed into the app, divided into three basic categories, natural sources, artificial sources, and corrective sources. Natural sources include colors inspired by light sources that occur in nature, such as sunrise and campfire. Artificial sources includes preset colors based around artificial light sources, both practical and professional like HMIs and fluorescent tubes. Corrective sources are based around traditional corrective gels like straw and minus green. The search function allows you to browse all of the sources by hue. You can access the effects menu at the bottom of the app. 
The Effects menu offers a series of pre-programmed animated effects. Selecting an effect opens a secondary menu where you can toggle the effect on, adjust the speed, output, or any additional characteristics. At any point in the app, if you want to save a color that you created, select the Save Color button on the upper right-hand side of the menu. Later, to access this color, select the Save menu on the bottom right-hand side of the app, where the color will appear with the name you've assigned it. In the app, lights can be controlled individually or in a group. To create a group in the Lights menu, select New Group and name the group. Once this group has been created, Add as many lights as desired by selecting the plus symbol to the left of the name of the light. To control these lights as one, select the group name to enter the controls and use as you would with an individual light. 